Konnichiwa people, this is Strong K, and um, today I'm gonna take a look at uh, Secret Files 3 in, uh, you know, another one of my first impression videos. So, um, yeah, Secret Files 3, point and click adventure game, very, very uh, old school, straightforward stuff. Uh, came out last month and is available uh, on uh, Amazon, if I'm not mistaken, and definitely on Steam. Um, so let's get started. So yeah, this is a rendition of our uh, protagonist, uh, Nina Kalenkov. And um, I think she is, or the game's at least offering to have an individual main menu made for us. So let's, you know, do this. Why not? You're given movie tickets. Which movie do you watch? Uh, let's go with, uh, I don't know, Indiana Jones, I guess. What do you like doing best in your free time? Obviously playing video games. And uh, do I have a favorite adventure game? So I think those are all games, you know, being released by the same company that uh, released uh, Secret Files. So yeah, I do have a favorite, but it's not listed here. So what's your favorite season of the year? Uh, yeah, spring, I guess. Okay, let's see what this sits the bar. So yeah, actually, I mean, 99% or like 90% of the times I got the bar thing. Uh, and I think that was based on the movie decision that I picked. The, uh, what was that? Indiana Jones. Um, did not, yeah, the last time I did this, I, um, I had like a, like a garage or like a workshop type of environment, but yeah. So, uh, yeah, we've got, like, credit cinema, like, low gain options here. The options pretty straightforward stuff as well. Uh, sound graphics, and then, um, you know, if I click this, then we could have another uh, main menu customized for us, and then subtitles game help, and uh, inventory management. So, let's get back here. And actually, let's, uh, yeah, show hotspots. This is actually a feature that the game also has. So, you know, shows us where we can actually click to do stuff. So let's get started without further ado. And uh, let's watch the intro. Yeah, Alexandria. 48 before Christ. to see me. Do you have my gold? The other half when the job is done. Forward! Secure the library! By Anubis, where did they go? Forty Debans. So much money for destroying a few papyrus scrolls at a time when war in the very streets is costing so many lives. Perhaps those that would fight for anything less are already dead. Fools. They fight for Achilles, but no master is worth dying for. No one will see me scale the library wall. I should hurry. Yeah, uh, pretty good voice acting job there. I don't know. That was not... Alright, whatever. Um, so yeah, this is... Again, this is how you control people or the, our protagonists here. Uh, you know, mouse cursor, left click lets you move around like so. And then whenever we have uh, objects that we can interact with, such as the town here, you know, right click will let us examine the stuff. There has been fighting in this city since Achilles marched in with his army. Caesar and his troops have barricaded themselves in the palace. The screams of the dying will ring in these streets for a long time. I should make use of the confusion and do my job. Okay, and then, you know, the wall, for example, we could also left-click and you see that the hand icon here has appeared, meaning that we can actually use the wall to uh, climb up there. Um, yeah, and then we have the inventory, so, you know, map, bag of gold, and our uh, thieving equipment here. Basically, so by left-clicking we could, you know, take this out and then combine it with either the wall or the town. Let's try it with the grappling hook. 
Why should I throw away the hook? Right, this is what he says when you try to use it on the wall. The good thing is that whenever you cannot use something, it's just like probably too far fetched, such as use weapon on town, we cannot even click this. So this is not an option for us. Which I think it saves you a lot of time and like tedious dialogue lines, you know, uh, sort of like the stuff. Yeah, this does not make any sense or cannot use this. What are you thinking, you fool? Um, so yeah, if you want to use stuff uh, in the inventory, like this goes the same way. Right when click. Even the best climber becomes stuck. The correct equipment shall free him. Right click is examine, and then with the left click we can pick stuff up, and then we can also combine this. So uh, let's combine the rope and the grappling hook. Done. Great job, Manus Ra. Um, yeah. And then examine scene is, uh, you know, gives you all the hot spots. Again, uh, space bar does the same job. And then uh, this is the menu. Uh, and then uh, this is the help button. Tasks. Um, you have started the quest help. As soon as a new quest is available, this is where you will find information and summaries of events in the game. That way you can always find out what you need to do next in case you get lost. But don't worry. This information won't spoil any of the puzzles. You'll have to solve the main challenges that await you by yourself. Right, so it will give you like vague hints of first of all where you are and what you have to do next. Um, so let's get going and scale this this bad the boy here. Should be easy to climb. Now all I need to do is find a route to the top. I should be able to get a good hold. Okay. Yeah, and then just by clicking on the cracks like we can move up here in sort of like a you know you rang you tangy way as we proceed with Manus Ra Thief for Hire. Okay. Yeah, it's an interesting design choice, like to have this sort of mini game at the beginning. Um they're not at least, you know, not that I have encountered them. Not a lot of those mini games. I think I'm going to show off later on another one that's totally different. Uh, I've played, I think, four to five hours into the game so far. I think maybe less than that. Um, I couldn't say. So it's like I have not progressed that much. But I think I can give a pretty. Are not sufficient to stop me. Nor will those guards be, so long as they don't notice me. The fellow has to go. Preferably without causing a fuss. Yeah, so I have like a pretty uh, formed opinion on this. Uh, let let's say, um, just to give you like a background, really of uh, yeah, where I'm like coming from with adventure games. Um, actually, I'm like a huge fan of of the adventure genre and especially of the point and click adventure. You know, um, huge fan. Used to be a huge fan of like the whole. Lucas Arts or Lucas Film Games and uh, Sierra Online sort of thing uh, in the uh, yeah like 90s, early 90s, late 80s, or it's like to mid 90s sort of thing. Uh, you know stuff like especially like the Monkey Island series, like the first or the second part. I actually consider one of the best games ever the made, stable. like Monkey Island 2. Definitely. If I climb through the window to the stables, the horses will betray me. Because I simply like I, I like the way you can actually you know tell a great story and then also combine, uh, you know like uh, this whole like lateral thinking like um, you know puzzle solving and you know that kind of stuff within one game. I think that is really intriguing me. A leather feed sack. So yeah. Uh, so without further ado, let's let's get going here. This is stable. We need to get rid of this guard. Darkness surrounds me. The guards cannot see me, but they stand in my path. Uh, sorry. Too young to die, I shall use my superior experience to overcome him another way. Okay, now we got the snake here. My sister, she is silent and deadly. May the poison of Apophis not enter my body. I dare not with my bare hands. All right, let's use the leather bag. Its poison fangs bring certain death. Luckily, the leather is thick enough. So wait, there's like there's a stable here. We just scaled this wall. Who would actually and there's like a chariot type of thing. Who would actually have a stable 
and a small one at that, you know, being located in like next to a library and then in like the I don't know upper section on like I don't know the fifth floor of a building. It's just yeah, whatever. Horses fear snakes. I'm no expert on Egyptian ancient Egyptian uh, architecture though, so what do I know, right? The sounds of fighting are making the horses especially nervous today. If they hurt themselves, they'll be in trouble. Easy, easy. All right, let's do this. Master thief. A waste of good wine storage. Behind that door at the back of the room lies the object of my assignment. I am nearly victorious. By Horus, of all the timing. I must continue. Okay, no. Yeah, so I think the beams run the breadth of the room. Climbing up in the rafters here is basically our way to go. Good idea. Yeah. Don't bother like animating this shit. Uh, this like spot is a little weak, I think. Rotten. That's okay, like oh sorry, I didn't mean to click this or skip this. Um The guards are too far apart. Silence them in one go. Looks as if I should have to sneak past. Too bad. Also, you got he's like, I don't know if you noticed that, but you don't have any weapons. I don't know how badass this menace rod guy is, but uh yeah. In any case. Banner. A linen banner. Let's pick it up. This may prove invaluable. It certainly will. I am sure of that. Okay, this seems a little dented. The guards are too far up, looks as if. Oh, yeah, I already. Okay, uh, and then obviously. Yes, that is my goal. But I cannot climb down here unnoticed. Okay, then let's opt for the wind. This is really useful, like having a window inside at this height. This opening must lead to the storage room. The noise from a jump like that would give me a whip. Okay, but what do I know? Okay, let's use hay. We have the grappling hook that we assembled earlier. That will forewarn them of my presence. Okay, so I guess what Manisra is hinting at here is that we have to sort of like muffle the uh, sound. I shall tear the linen into strips and wrap it around the grappling hook. I mean, obviously I've played this before, so, um, you know. But then again, this is not something that I really, uh, you know, that gave me a headache to solve. Um. Yes, wrapped in cloth, the grappling hook will be silent. And I can climb up the rope to the window. Also, partly because now to light the torches and make an escape. You know, if we just have like so many uh, objects in the inventory here. Uh, okay, clay pots. So let's take Never a look. Ask questions. Still, my curiosity is piqued. What could be written on these scrolls that my clients would pay so much to have destroyed? Let's take a look. Every jar bears the royal seal. By Ra, just some numbers and drawings. What value could they possibly be? Forward! If the intruder gets his hands on even one of these amphoras, we'll all be fed to the crocodiles. We have to fight. Right, you three to the left. The rest, follow me. Keep your weapons ready. Hmm. My presence is no longer a secret. Yeah, how did that happen? Okay, let's, uh, you know, set the shit on fire. Yeah, I didn't even know that the Egyptians had, like, gunpowder. But whatever, I don't make the rules. So and then right there, there's the, uh, I don't know, just like water. Okay, and then yeah, guess what? 
so this is the actual intro, I guess. It was just a prequel to like set the tone for the game, which clearly is, you know, like along the lines of, I don't know, like sort of like an Indiana Jones slash maybe Tomb Raider slash, you know, sort of like a Dan Brown story that, you know, conspiracy thing involving the Vatican or some mysterious sect. Uh, I don't know. As you will see in just a few seconds. I, uh, I'm not gonna spoil too much here. I'm gonna miss my own wedding. Right, don't do that. Sorry, I'm too late to... Max? What's going on? Where are the guests? My dad. What? It's starting. Dear bride and groom, honored guests, welcome to Finisterre at the end of the world. Now that you have all taken your seats, we can begin with the ceremony. What is he talking about? There's no one here but us. Where is everyone? We are gathered here today because Nina Kalenkoff and Max Gruber wish to join together in holy matrimony. I will begin with the sermon and the reading the couple have chosen. The second letter of Peter, chapter 3. And lo, the day of the Lord shall come, and fire shall rain from the sky. The earth shall melt in the heat and all people and animals on it shall burn. That isn't quite right, is it? Hmm. What's going on here? That must have hurt. Max? <clears throat> yeah. Max! Hello? Can anyone hear me? I can't get out of here. Max, where are you? Hello? I hope he's safe. Imagining things? Never mind. Better get the hell out of here. Even if it means following something I imagine. Yeah, the same like cloaked figure that already told Menace Raw or paid Menace Raw to uh, burn down the Library of Alexandria. What the fuck's going on here? So yeah, um again, so yeah, now we actually do play as Nina Kalankov, who is the protagonist of the whole thing. And um yeah, let's get right to it. I mean, uh, you probably uh, saw that uh, the cutscene. Much too big for me, but I'll take it along with a clothes hanger. The cutscene is that really something that you'd expect, you know, from a 2012 game? Really, I mean, to say the least, the, the graphics are in fact pretty dated, um, and also, uh, the, uh, I think the uh, the dialogue was not, you know, lip synced with the uh, actual the actual cutscene. Uh, I mean, obviously, this is a, this is a German game, so the original um, voice acting would have been done in German. But again, I doubt that that was actually uh, German lip sync either. Um, simply because also Max did not really. At one point, I think he didn't even move his lips. Um, okay, let's pick up this mop here. Just like the one I have at home, only with more wear and tear. Yeah, mops, right? If you know one, you know them all. Okay, um, and then let's just burning shelves. Some sparks must have set the shelves on fire. I should at least try to extinguish the shelves so that I don't get cut off by the fire. Okay, let's do that. And what do we have here? A statue. A statue of Saint Peter holding the key. Handy things, keys. So I just I guess. 
that we have to get this key somehow. Okay, tapestry. Impressive. If you're into that kind of thing. I'm no expert on tapestries, but even I can see that this one can't be pulled down or moved aside. Sadly, I have to get rid of it somehow so I can see what's behind it. Okay. Right, so we got a mop and a uh, the ropes here. Let's can we maybe that would be a pretty ritual motif. Madhouse cleaner in the flames of hell. But well, yeah, can we actually? Yeah. Again, uh, I'm sorry for the hiccups here. That is, I think, caused by the recording software that's running in the background. Uh, I have not experienced those hiccups, you know, while I was playing through it without anything else. Good. This should take a while, but I can probably Oh I'm sorry, I didn't mean to click that away. Phew. Finished. Okay, so actually and, and that's sort of like a neat feature of the whole thing. Uh, you also could um, could f like fill the chalice with water and then put out the fire, and I think the robe as well. If you just like you know drenched it in water, um, that also would have been possible. So what do you got here? The shelves are done for, but at least they're not burning anymore. A loose board that survived the fire, relatively intact. And we got a shelf. Or like a board. Uh okay. I just put that fire out. Good job. So yeah, as you can see, this really comes in handy, you know, like just basically going through all possible solutions without having to actually click through every The robe will burn if I try to beat out the flames with it. Right. Oh, sorry. I didn't know what else I could do with those shelves. Rope, baptismal font. There's no water left in the basin. Okay. Put it on the statue. Put it on the thing. Set fire to the mop. Okay. Who knows what it might be good for? If it doesn't work, it'll just mean one mop less in the world. Not a great loss. Okay. Yeah, it's like, just light more shit on fire, because you're already in a burning church. Um, so I guess, like, we can apply this to the uh, tapestry and then just destroy it that way. There's an opening behind the tapestry. That's the way to the bell tower. The entrance to the bell tower should be behind it. How the stranger got in there is anyone's guess, though. Sort of like reminding you of maybe he was a man who uh, stares at goats. Like I'm, I'm gonna walk to the office next door. A statue of Saint Peter holding a key. Handy things, keys. Okay, and this is actually where I first used the hotspot uh, tool here. Uh, you know, basically allowing me to discover uh, the nail. So, do you, it's like, do you see this? Do you see this? This thing here. That is what we need. Uh, this is extreme, like, pixel hunting. And I think this is I nothing. The ones hung there. I like, why would you even do that? With my, with my bare hands. Why would you even do that? Like, in a, in a 2012 game, honestly. Like, we've been there. Seriously. Obviously, yes, you do have the examine scene button, but come on. It's like. Why do this at all? Um, let's try this. I could jam the nail into the narrow side of the pole to Okie doke, so now we have the nail. And I'm not sure, again, I played this already, but it has been a while. So I am not sure what to do next here. I think we have to do something with the nail. Okay, this we can't do. Opening. Chalice. Can we fill this There's up, no maybe? Oh, yeah, right. Uh, statue. Tower opening. Hanger. 
So yeah, again, this makes this rather tedious process almost bearable. Like, okay, this is... We have to do something with the nail, though. I, that, that much I remember. Statue with a key, maybe? There's... Is there anything that we... Oh, here's a wall joint. Okay, uh, yeah, because the first time I looked at this, like, Nina was standing sort of here, I thought that this icon meant her, actually. So yeah, it's like another pixel hunt. Come on, guys. Seriously, is that... Uh... Is that how you want to play this? The most I'll do is break all my fingernails if I try to scratch the mortar loose. Lucky we have a nail. I could use it to scratch away the loose mortar. Let's see. I've widened the crack a little. Okay, and then I guess just like jam the shelf in there. Fits perfectly. And now I can climb onto the statue. Maybe I can find a way into the tower from there, somehow. Okay, let's just climb this board. Better use for the board than this, so it's staying where it is. Wait, oh, just click on the statue then. Right. Real adventurers enjoy a challenge. Why not try out the difficult version for this task? Do you think you can handle it? You bet I can. I love a challenge. Okay. Okay, lean left, lean right, and then. I guess we just have to use the momentum of the statue to, like... Eh, it's not too hard, really. Very agile. Oh my god, just like in the Bible. And it was all a dream. You okay? Yes. I just didn't sleep well. Nina, you're sleeping badly every night. Watch your lips. Your dreams are getting worse. Yeah, I'm gonna shut up now. You are getting hitched the day after tomorrow. Aren't you the least bit nervous? You're still avoiding the issue. And it's been like this since Tunguska. That was a long time ago. They're dreams. They don't mean anything. You don't know that, okay? I found a place you underlined in the Bible. The Apocalypse. And lo, the day of the Lord shall come, and fire shall rain from the sky. The earth shall melt in the heat, and all people and animals on it shall burn. Nina, I'm worried about you. You haven't answered my question yet. Which one? About you being nervous, because of the day after tomorrow. Well, I could have done without all that other stuff. True, we don't need all that. The church, the people. I just want the two of us on our Australia. Let's just get out of here. You're crazy. Okay. You're crazy. Down! On the floor! Move! 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 What's this about? Max! Target in custody. We're coming out. Don't worry. I'm sure it's just a misunderstanding. And Nina, I'm especially sorry. I'll miss our honeymoon. Are you the fiancé, Nina Kalenkov? Who the hell are you? Wh what do you want with us? We have an arrest warrant for Max Gruber. He is suspected of terrorist activity. I suggest you take this through the official channels. I don't like renditioning women. There you go. Channels. He does not know who he's talking to. Yeah. Not a single official record of Max's arrest. I'm starting to think they weren't police officers at all. Anyway, I filed a missing persons report. Looks like that's all I can do right now. Officially, that is. What the hell did Max mean when he said he'd miss our honeymoon? Odd time for sentimentality. We were headed for Australia. Perhaps I should start with that. Yeah, right. It's like, really, what gave it away? It was just like, ugh. I mean, obviously, like I said, you know, this has been developed by a, a German team, so this actually takes place right now, the game, in, in Berlin, Germany. Uh, but again, it's like, you know, this is not, this, what kind of police state 
do they portray Germany to be? Like, there's like just cops that can randomly bust into your apartment and just like take people away. What sort of dictatorship is that supposed to be? I don't know. And then maybe, you know, if they don't have like a warrant or something, uh, that is like a giveaway usually that they may not be the real deal. Uh, I don't know. But in any case, um, and then, you know, this is like one of the issues I actually do have with the game, that the story, I mean, however fantastic it is supposed to be, because it is like this sort of conspiracy theory, I mean, I haven't finished the game, but, um, you know, guessing also from the games before, like Secret Files 1, Tunguska, and the second part, which is called uh, Puritus Cordis, uh, were, you know, Actually, that, I think if I remember correctly, this was about a sect trying to take over the world. Uh, or at least just destroy it, I'm not really sure, I forgot. I just remember that it was pretty shitty. Uh, or at least, you know, the first part was decent, if you will. Also because it is, is a little bit older now, so that was okay. And I also think, like, technically this has not improved much. I may be wrong here, but at least to me it doesn't feel that way, let's put it that way, maybe. Um... And then again, like, the story feels so forced, you know, like, he just got back from wherever the police, I'm assuming, and just found out that there's, like, no arrest warrant or whatever, nobody knows of this. Yeah, why don't you let this do us, it's like, you have this intro where this guy destroys the, um, the library and, and such, you know, and then those parts where you actually figure out that, you know, something like, uh, you know, fishy here is a foot, let's put it that way. Uh, this is just being told to us. It's not even a cutscene. It's not worth a cutscene. It's just, um, you know, being put out there uh, through, uh, like, an internal monologue. In, in, like, a... I don't know. This is not good story writing. And it, this actually does happen a lot in the game. Maybe later on, I'll try to keep this short. First of all, because, you know, I don't want to bore you guys. I just want to show you the essentials. And then, you know, you can form... Or make an informed... Um, decision on whether or not you want to pick this one up um, and also otherwise because I don't want to like for those of you who do actually do want to pick it up later on you know I don't want to spoil too much of the actual game so um, yeah but this is like this is not why would you do that this is poor story writing look like, basically I also think like for those of you who've watched um, my uh, first impressions of Julia I mean I'm pretty you know, well aware of the fact that there's probably only like 10 people on average who watch each of my video, but you know, rest assured that those guys, like you guys who watch this, be pretty special to me. Seriously though, you know, keep it in the family, you know, like we're this like tight group, this motley crew of, I don't know, online, whatever, aficionados, let's put it that way. Um, no, like, all jokes aside, though, um, if you've watched the Julia, uh, uh, video, I've already addressed this, uh, this issue of, you know, it doesn't necessarily, like, just because you can make a game doesn't necessarily mean that you're a good storyteller. I mean, if you take a look, for example, at the, I don't know, Blackwell series, you know, if you want to talk about adventures, you can see that this is, like, this is an indie game, or an indie game series that is, you know, has extremely, you know, well-written scripts. Um, and you can see that Dave Gilbert has at least like some background, I think he has a degree in like uh, script writing or film or some some stuff from NYU I think it is, but you know, regardless, um, you can, you know, like, uh, or you can see that he knows his, his uh, stuff about, you know, how to put together a interesting story and, and tell it. Here, not so much. I mean, honestly, this is like, later on maybe I'm just gonna finish this scene and then give you the, um, uh, the beginning of the next one, so you know what I'm actually talking about. So let's get started here, uh, I because I don't want to. Those old books are really gonna help. Don't know, don't want to waste too much time. Uh, at this point. Five matches into the 11-12 German Bundesliga. Mains at the top, Schalke at the bottom. The favorite somewhere midfield. All right. So yeah, this is actually uh, like a hint for a puzzle that's going to come up later on. And again, this is one way of getting the information that you need to know in order to solve it. Yeah, this is actually a, a neat feature, I would say. Um, but, uh, let's take a look at the backpack. Again, this only, like, you know, 
remedies the 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 ills of this game to like a certain degree. Perhaps I'll find something in Max's things to give me a clue. Hmm, just a book about Australia in there. Yeah, did I mention Australia? That's important. It's called Australia: The Journey of My Life, written by Michael Cocker. Australia, our honeymoon. I'll take a closer look. Someone's hollowed out the inner pages of the book. There are three small flags inside. Must be useful for something. The table of contents is loose as well, and a lot of pages are missing. Chapters 3, 7, 10, and 15 were torn out entirely. Okie doke. Uh, let's actually go to the passage here, which everybody should have in their home. Um, okay, and then... That is ugly. Yeah, we can like sort of again. Not as ugly as everything else, I suppose. Never mind. We'll be sharing an apartment soon. I'll gradually throw out all the crap. Cause that's what girls do, right, guys? I don't know. This bed is way too small. Get it? I don't think this particular nightmare is one I can just sleep through. Okay. So yeah, as you can see, oh, there's a map of Australia. So I guess. Uh, the solution of the puzzle has to do with this. Uh, let's check Australia, out the book. The Journey of My Life by Michael Cocker. Australia. Okay. Yeah, we got this. I think I already read this. Uh, and then the TOC. Table of Contents of Australia, The Journey of My Life, authored by Michael Cocker. So, yeah, the chapters, I think that we're missing were, uh, 3, 7... 10 and 15 if I am not mistaken which uh, correspond to cities in Australia now if we take a quick look at the map again if you want to solve this yourself sorry I just spoiled it a map I'm not of Australia we were supposed to honeymoon there before Max got himself kidnapped remember that you know you guys wanted to go to Australia and there's a honeymoon involved okay so we have those towns here Broom. purling capital of the world my aunt has a pearl necklace from Broom. It's her pride and joy. You don't say. Auckland. The city was built on about 50 inactive volcanoes. Pretty optimistic. That I didn't know. Christchurch. The city suffered so many earthquakes that its citizens finally had a tip of iron made for their cathedral. No doubt the collection boxes pass around a little more often for that. Yeah, so you get, like, interesting factoids about, um cities in Australia and New Zealand apparently Broken Hill. soldiers of fortune sought gold there in vain in 1867 but the rich deposits of lead silver and zinc sulfate are still being mined today what do you know so yeah I'm just assuming that you know we can place the flags on the cities that were indicated in the uh, table of contents or the, the book respectively um, so that was Broome Adelaide I think Hobart, remember, like anybody uh, beneath the steel sky, Hobart, Australia, and um, was it Alice Springs? Was it Brisbane? Brisbane? Yeah. A secret compartment. Typical. I'll risk a peek. That is just so max. Secret compartment in the bedroom. Oh. Aside from his adolescent mental age, is Max hiding his office key in a secret compartment? And what's the other one for? There must be something at his office that'll help me, or him. Okay, better get to the museum. Alright, the honeymoon led me this far. There must be something here Max needed me to find. Unfortunately, I still don't have the faintest idea what I'm supposed to be looking for. All I know is that Max got involved in something and that it was probably something stupid. Maybe it's got something to do with his recent projects. But where does he keep, or hide, his notes on them? Yeah, again, uh, this is this is exactly what I mean. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it uh, quits after that. I'm just gonna give like a quick uh, you know, final verdict on the whole thing, um, but yeah, again, it's like, yeah, you know, you come into the office, and then it's like, yeah, Max probably has been working on some projects, 
hiding stuff or like hiding information that you need to further progress in the game where might they be let me just point out that this puzzle is I'm not going to spoil it but this is highly I'm not going to say illogical but you know you have to really apply some I don't know creative uh, prob pro problem solving skills to the whole thing in order to um, you know get to the solution to the whole thing here so yeah basically I don't know um, I, I think you already uh, you know can guess what my final verdict on this this one is I mean honestly um, what I think this game suffers most from is the fact that you know they basically made a game that could have been released easily like 20 years ago with like minor um, updates on like graphics and whatnot like you have 3d and shit like that but that doesn't really matter that does not make a good game and uh, specifically a good adventure game per se as you can see here um, I think the greatest flaws are like so for, as far as I can tell um, is that story-wise you know the, the how this stuff is presented to us is basically just through like you know a forced p propulsion of the story if you will it's just like hey um, you did this like the police I went to the police they have no you know uh, arrests like no files on the arrest of this max dude now I'm in the office probably he's working on something I need to find this and you know it's like this is not how you tell a good story like I'm sorry this is poor script writing and it's, n it's not really entertaining at all I mean for some adventure games that works you know if you have like really abstract or interesting or whatever puzzles you know that you sort of want to uh, scatter across and just use the the story like to loosely connect those things that is okay that actually in some cases works uh, not here though because also the puzzles are uh, very like lackluster and uninspired I would really say I mean you've, you've seen what I did so far apart from like the pixel hunting which is really annoying why even do that you know I mean you provide us with this feature here to like highlight all the hotspots why would you even have the small things because that does not even make sense it's it's like even without this feature it's not fun because you basically just search the screen for like a teeny tiny bit of uh, hotspot that you, you can just don't look at me like that this, this is creepy um, <laughs> this is, yeah this is how I roll just look at the wall don't no whatever when you're talking to me don't look at me don't look at the wall uh, seriously though um, the puzzles are not that great I mean even this one this is highly logical let's just suffice it to say that there's a hidden compartment here beneath the picture and you can this is not spoiling anything because by a simple look at it I mean you know what's going on. Depicts a volcano in a stormy sea. Looks like Combre Vieja on La Palma. Hmm, what's that? There's a thin crack running down the center of the picture and metal rails behind it. Yeah, so in order to open this, there's like something that you need to do here, uh, which is, I don't know, I can like vaguely understand you know, the logic behind it after I uh, finish it. I actually had to read it up. Uh, also, I did another playthrough of this, like I recorded a video which did not work, and uh, I tried to open this, and um, it didn't work. Uh, so for some reason, it, it did not open, so maybe that was my fault, maybe uh, I discovered a bug in the game, I don't know. But I actually did the things that I'm sup I was supposed to do, and uh, it, it did not work. Um, so yeah, this, like the puzzles are not that great, really. There's nothing that makes you go, oh, wow, this is really cool, I really like that, you know. Uh, the way they did the stuff here so uh, what I was like why would you make a game that is basically um, you know 20 years or like 15 years behind its time this is this is not does not make any sense and you know if you've seen it coming like like I said I played the first two parts of a secret file series uh, the first one was okay it's not that great really it didn't like really you know rivet me to my seat uh, the second part was again worse than the first part and this is just I don't know I would not recommend this to anyone especially like for the asking price of uh, $29.99 it's like 30 bucks on Steam which is like a AAA title basically and I've obviously there's uh, games where you uh, could invest those 30 bucks a lot better in you know than this um, this thing here um, 
I don't know how much uh, it is on Amazon currently. I'm also going to post a link on Amazon UK where I think you could pick it up. Usually it's a little bit cheaper there, but then again, um, I'll, I'll post the links in the description. So yeah, if you're like a diehard fan, if you think, oh my god, you know, I've seen the gameplay footage here, uh, despite of what you say, Strong K, you're an asshole, you don't know, you know, you don't see a gem when it's, you know, right in front of you, so I'm going to pick this up. Yeah, please, be my guest. If you like this series, if you like this uh, whole you know, plot setting of the um, conspiracy theory and you think this is a great addition to your uh, collection, go ahead, pick it up. Everybody else, uh, even if you like adventure games, you know, I would strongly discourage you from from playing this because um, it does not feel right. I mean, again, I have not progressed super far into the game. I've actually solved this and then solved the section that comes after this where you actually uh, I think I have to go to Turkey, but um, yeah, so far it's nothing that was... I mean, the puzzles remain obscure, to, to say the least. The story is equally uninspired. The characters that are introduced, I don't really care for them. So, uh, yeah, I'm not even sure if I'm going to finish this. This is just like some money that I, I wasted, basically. That I'm never going to see again. Um, yeah, so, you know... Take uh, take that for what it is, um, and don't say later on that I didn't warn you. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video so far. Although it's like more of a rant towards the ending than uh, towards the end than you know anything else. Uh, but in any case, um, if you liked it, please you know I don't know comment, subscribe, like it, leave a comment. Uh, even if you didn't like it, if you're the producer and you know you just tell me to hunt me down when you see me in the streets and put me into a, a dumpster do that I don't care um, but again yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I would definitely like uh, you know to see you on the channel um, so far thanks a lot for watching and bye